All right, so you got stored food. All right, good thing. Now, one of the things you're going to do is put a border collie in your food storage for... Hi, Riley. He's back here. He's a pup. You're going to put a <laughs> border collie in there for... All right, we're going to look at something here real quick. Something about jars that I guarantee you that you of youth have no clue. How to jar food is easy. How to preserve it long term. I'm going to show you a trick, and it just takes one of these. No, no, no. It's not what you think. Y'all stay tuned. And we're going to start right here. Huh. All right. Not normal for me to make a video of one of my food storages, but I was in the process of showing my wife a very old trick. If you can, using jars and you put things together like meats and vegetables and whatever you've got in there, you know, plums. Um, one of the things that you want to know is which one of these may go bad first. Now, this is a trick from my great grandmother. Now, she used a little glass ingot to do this, but it doesn't require that. But I'm going to show you something, and hopefully this audio will pick up really well. So one of the things when you go and buy groceries, you want to you want to date it when you bring it home. You can't base it on the best buys, but date it so that you, when you set it all out, see, when you stack it all out, the things you bought further back, you keep in the front, and just by dating them, putting dates on them, you can uh, always jump to it and know that you're not picking up something you just brought in. And yes, it's dusty. I've been working a lot in the shop, and this is a a uh, conditioned, air-conditioned, heated room now. Um, so I'm going to show you something here. You're going to listen to the sounds. I'm just going to use a marker. Now, she used, my, great, my grandmother used a pendant, but I'm going to show you a little sounds here. Don't you hear how they sound the same? Notice they all sound the same. All the same style lids, brands, everything. Now, this one here, I pull, a, pull forward. Now, it's the same date as these. But how you're going to know you're losing vacuum, which means eventually the vacuum will be lost and you can't detect it by color. See, these look very similar. This is all ground hamburger um, that's canned. If you want to know how to do that, there's videos out there. But you listen here. You hear that sound? And now listen here. The higher the vacuum, in other words, the lower, the more vacuum that's in this one, the higher the sound. The lower the vacuum, which means it could be leaking down. When you find one like this, you want to tighten its lid real good if it's getting loose at all to make sure you give it more pressure down on the lid on the seal. But now we'll go over here right quick. And I haven't checked these yet, but let's just give it a shot. All right, these are beets. Uh, Kira grew these out in the garden. So these are beets. Hear that noise? Now there, there's one right there. Listen. High pitch. High pitch. See, bigger jar, bigger lid, and same high pitch. But listen to this one. Lower pitch. That means it's got nothing to do with how much air is in here or not. As you can tell, there's there's air, difference of air in every one, but these are all high pitch. That one's low pitch. So same thing down here. High pitch. High pitch, high pitch, high pitch. Now this tells you they're sealed real good. Oh, there's one right there. You hear that? So that one there, we want to make sure it gets moved to the front. Now the food isn't bad, but it could be going bad. So this is a thing that you want to do when you have jars. You want to make sure that your stuff's not going to go bad. You can reach around and people like if the little buttons popped up. That's bad. Well, the button will be popped up on this one in, say, six months. 
but don't you want to pull it forward and use it first before it goes bad instead of coming out here and finding it popped up and the jar bad all right this will save you possibly thousands of dollars and could even save your life if you're going to depend on having stored food so high pitch is good vacuum the pitch lower is bad vacuum and real quick here i'll show you here on top of these freezers here is a can that's totally down high pitch another can that's totally down but its vacuum is almost gone so you see it hasn't popped up listen high pitch this one's totally down you see that now here's one where the button has popped but it's just on it hasn't quite popped you can feel a little return in pressure all right guys protect your food it could save your life y'all be good